hello friends welcome back to another video on this channel in today's video i will show you guys my brand new creation it is an arduino based adjustable timer so as you can see i have an arduino nano here this is connected to my 16 by 2 lcd and it is connected to two buttons so basically what i have done here is as uh, the arduino handles the timer so i have a reset button as well as a uh, start button and a, a stop and a pause button uh, pause and resume sorry so as you can see when I click this button the timer starts. I've set it two and a half minutes for now. I'll show you guys how to change that in just a second. Uh, I can click this button to pause it and then clicking it again will resume the timer as you can see. Clicking this will reset the timer and I also have a buzzer uh, back here. Uh, so currently I have set it so that when it is at 30 seconds it will beep and after the end of the timer it will beep once. So let me show you guys about the wiring of this uh, system while it's running so as you can see i have the lcd connected using a standard lcd connection uh, schematics you can check that out uh, just stand, so type of 16 by 2 lcd wiring schematic um, in my case i'm using 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so uh, the 2 and 3 are the uh, the pins on this side of the lcd and then uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the pins on this side of the LCD. Just ex again, I will mention, uh, just go check out the uh, wiring schematic uh, of a 16 by 2 LCD. You will understand what I am talking about. Other than that, for 8 and 9, pin 8 and 9 are the two buttons. So, the way you are going to connect it is you are going to connect one side over to ground directly. Uh, if you can see on this breadboard here, one side of the pins are connected to ground and the other side is connected to pin 8 and pin 9. For the two buttons and then you are going to have pin 10 be the buzzer so you are going to connect the side which goes to ground of the buzzer directly to ground uh, and you are going to connect the positive side to your arduino the arduino provides the positive signal for connecting up to the uh, buzzer and beeping the buzzer so that's basically it now i have used the resistor here as an added protection for the buzzer uh, another thing is i am using a potentiometer here uh, you can also use a fixed re value resistor uh, for the uh, for your contrast pin which is your second uh, pin I believe it is uh, this third pin I believe it is uh, from this side again check out the schematics uh, down in the uh, just search it up on Google uh, so it's approaching 30 seconds so I'll just be quiet for a second if you heard that I don't know if the camera picked that up uh, but basically beat at 30 seconds uh, you can change that as the length as well as maybe you want to add multiple beeps or something like that you can change that i'll show you guys that in just a second so for that i'll quickly switch over to the code now okay so i have now switched over to the arduino code uh, this is the code running on the time uh, the timer so this might seem like quite a long code uh, for something this simple on principle but actually it's needed there is no real uh, timer feature of the arduino we are just simply saying uh, logics using a millis feature so uh, basically if you guys don't know the arduino has three separate timers an 8-bit timer a 12-bit timer and a third timer so the second one is what we are using the millis uh, timer the, it is a feature called uh, milis millis it just handles a millisecond grade uh, like one millisecond so we are converting that to seconds then pressing every 60 of those we are just going to convert it to minutes so that's the way, logic we are using uh, so as i mentioned the lcd pins here you're going to need your standard lcd uh, library this is the inbuilt library of the arduino id no needed for external libraries so the bins i was measuring so your pause pin would be eight the button pin for the reset would be nine uh, and your buzzer would be on ten this is where you can change it uh, so if you want to change it you have to actually change it two places i'll show that uh, in minutes here 22 minutes so for 2 minutes or 30 seconds you change it to 32 uh, so if you want to change it to say 2 minutes you'll change this to 2 0 if you want to change it to say 5 minutes you'll change this to 5 0 so that's the way you are going to change the timer moving forward we have just uh, some uh, variables here for the st button states as well as the uh, timer states so we are just going to move forward this has some constants seconds so 1000 uh, minutes is 60 into seconds previous is zero is just more uh, just this is for your like uh, logic for as i mentioned converting milliseconds to seconds converting seconds to minutes and so on and so forth 
uh, these are just some void functions and we are just, this is where we started so this is something you might want to change uh, instead of two and a half minutes change it to whatever you want so five minutes half a minute uh, however you like it and then uh, you're just setting just as a simple just saying press start that is the R button uh, the start button which is the start reset button setting the buttons to output then we are starting to read the buttons we are setting button state as digital read button pin and pause button state as digital read pause pin next if you are saying that if button state is not equal to previous button state then buttons uh, then if we read that button state is low then we are going to hit a handle button void function which we set before and if it is not uh, previous boss is not equal to previous button state so basically what i'm trying to say is what it's doing is uh, so when you're holding it obviously you're holding it so it's not going to be like exactly a nanosecond grade which uh, i believe 60 nanoseconds is what arduino refresh is at uh, so basically we are setting this to prevent uh, mix up so you know where it's like changing the button state and then staying there so it won't just continue constantly uh, like keep changing it back and forth and back and forth so that's why we are adding this fu function here um, so we are saying if timer running then we are going to pause the timer if it is paused then we are going to resume the timer this is for the pause button state and otherwise we are going to use handle button for the reset so this is where we see if the timer is running then we'll reset it to 30 uh, 2 minutes 30 rather and if it's not running it's at started then we'll start the timer uh, so let's go ahead and move forward here so just setting some button states and stuff uh, moving down this is some more timer logic and this is where we see if it is not running and the time has moved we'll say timer complete and we'll beat the buzzer uh, for the finish uh, that is another void function separately i'll show you guys as well in just a second so uh, this is what i mentioned about the handle button this is where we are checking if the timer is running if it's not then we are going to reset the timer if it is then we are going to start the timer uh, sorry i said that other way around if it is then we are going to running then we are going to reset the timer if it's not running you're just going to simply start the timer then we are moving forward uh, start timer it's just a simple uh, timer running timer not running resume is paused and re paused. so this is just some standard functions uh, update display is where we are changing the display according to the current timer state so we are going to print the time left we are going to print the seconds uh, we are also going to set if it is done then we are just going to start or it is done then we are going to put this uh, command on the display as you saw when it was not started it's just for saying that okay it's either set done or it's then not started yet and this is the final function the void beat buzzer where we are just setting the buzzer to high you are waiting 500 milliseconds here you can change it to a um, second you can have multiple 500 millisecond beeps you can do whatever you want just set it high first then set it low at the end to prevent the buzzer from continuously running so yeah that's basically it for the code i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye